What are you doing? Well, I'm practicing my look. We've got Scott Lawrence here to tell us how to get a good headshot. Actor and magician Jonathan Levitt talks about creating magic for blockbuster movies. If he's going to do something in the show. I bloody well hope so. Hello! This is Keith Fields. And this is Lady Sarah. And thank you for joining us for... A, a cup, cup of tea! tea. <laughs> yes, we have a great show today, but first, I think we need to talk about conflict. Do you really want to go there, darling? Yes, I think people need to know the truth. Oh, I don't know. I don't know! Regular viewers will be aware that we are bringing up a future leader dog. That's hashtag FLD. If you're on social media, and uh, he's had a little puppy called Magic. And uh, we also have a little bit of a problem with him, don't we? Well, mm. well, I don't know if we have a problem with him. Well, he has a problem with <laughs> the other pet in the house, who is our rather cantankerous and rather large ginger cat. Martoon, he's deeply intelligent, you know, deeply. <laughs> but we have finally got them to almost coexist, so look at this. Yes, look how gorgeous they are. This uh, little picture, there look, we, oh, look there we are. We're either oh, side. We're either look, side. what you don't realise there is Martoon, the cat. He's is almost as big as the dog. <laughs> but the tragedy is he only goes near the dog when the dog's asleep. Mm. Yes, I don't know. If so they're getting closer that. together and his training is carrying on. But uh, of course, the interesting thing about the training in the winter rather than the summer is someone has to get up for his early morning walks and they're not so much fun at the moment, are they? They are not. No, they are why, not. Which is why she usually does that one. John Lachance, it's lovely to see you. Take a look at this video of our dog magic. It's a rainy day in the park, but a good leader dog will be out regardless. Sit, sit, down, down. Ugh. Notice how sad I'm feeling. You were trying to make him go down. He was, he was in, a, in a puddle. Was Can't rubbish. make him lay down in a puddle, the poor dog. I will never know. John Clement, he's not a tiger. He's deeply intelligent. Martoon. <laughs> Just like Martoon. Yes. yes, 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 yes. So, listen, moving on. We've got a lot to get through on today's show. I'm really excited about our first guest. He's a magician and he's an actor. But the thing I want to know about is he's also a magic advisor for feature films. What's that? I don't know. That's why I thought we'd talk about it. Oh, we, we'll okay. Find out. He's worked on shows like Burt Wonderstone and uh, Now You See Me. Wow. Have yeah. we got clips? Clips. Clips? Yeah. Videos? Well, well, we haven't got clips of those because, uh, you know, copyright reasons. But we have got some pictures of Jonathan as a young person. Oh, he's a little baby. How is he? Oh, look at that cheeky smile. That's a very cute picture. Oh, isn't he's it? so gorgeous. Mm. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Excuse me, shirts and shoes are expected during this show. Dreadful. Oh, look at that. That's an action shot. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. Look well. at those. And, and also, we, I, I did find a little bit of video, which he doesn't know I've sneaked actually on oh. YouTube of him performing. Do you think we dare? Quick, put it up. Yes. <laughs> no, what if I told you that you were um, sitting on the tennis bay? Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna look or am I? How does this work? <laughs> no! Oh way. my god! Oh my god! The card changes to red, the deck changes to red, the joker changes to red, everything changes to red. Thank you. Yeah. Calm down. <laughs> that would be hard. No! Right. But I signed a blue card. I know! <laughs> We're starting to understand what the magic is. I am not a stalker. <laughs> so we've learned one thing about him. He is not a stalker. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our very good friend, Jonathan Levitt. <laughs> Sorry about that, sir. No, it's it's. Uh, I'm glad to know it's public. I didn't know. I mean, I, I'm glad to know it's out there. It is out there. Yeah, it you're, out there. You're it's out definitely there. out there now. It's out there now. Thank you. 
Thank How you. are I, you, sir? I'm great. Nice to see you both, uh, my old friends. It's so great to see you. It's great um, to be together. I, uh, together but separate. In separate. This rather where, where, weird where are you, Jonathan? Where are you? Um, well, right now I'm in a very tiny room, but uh, I live. In, but we, I'm in Los Angeles, in Pasadena, California, in Los Angeles. <gasps> so uh, you're living with uh, the. Apart from the weather you've got out there, of course, you've got the smoke and the fires happening. Is that somewhere close to you? Is that affecting it's you? Extremely close to me. Um, we are. Uh, we're, we're right there on the mountainside. So Monrovia, which has been in the news. Mm. as sort of the epicenter well, i don't want to say epicenter but it's 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 been the focus on the news is about 15 minutes down the road and wow. um it's it's we i wake up in the morning and we i can smell smoke in the home so it's it's really it's not good it's nice. scary. so you're dealing with covid and that i mean that's like a double covid <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's um, something they used to worry about. Oh. Double whammy uh, there. Yeah, we are. It's, it's. I mean, can we just get to 2021? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Let's try something a bit more positive and a bit more fun then, because uh, I do think yeah. we have to move forward. Uh, as you know, during this show, we have our game, Say Something in British. He it's... loves it, Jonathan. He's so, he loves it's my it. My favourite bit of the show. Uh, when it's your job to choose the British word. So as I run my thumb down the edge of the deck, just say stop. Stop. Perfect. So the British word of the day is doolally. Have you ever heard yeah. the word doolally? Yeah, I have actually. You oh. have? Yeah. Oh, I so have... give us a meaning. A meaning of doolally? Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, it's not really, it's not, it, it's an adjective. It's more like, uh, it's you when used in a sentence, it's pulling a doolally. Oh, right. Okay. Oh. Right. You know, I mean, you know that it, there was a, an advisor for the royal family years and years ago, Paul Dulali, oh. and Dulali. But he was an imbecile. He was a bumbling fool, and he was and he was always. You, you may not have heard about him because he was always kind of kept, you know, sort of aside because he was. He would always say the wrong thing. He would stumble. He would. He would. If you put him in in like a political situation, you would never know what was going to come out of his mouth. So they sort of. <laughs> they eventually just kept him to the side where nobody knew about him. So now, in now, it's become part of the the, the zeitgeist. Oh, that yeah. I, I, I asked for a word, man. He's given me a bloody essay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, but that's what that's where it comes from. So if you if you have a friend at a at a party, you go, oh my god, you just pulled a dulali, and that's how that sort of came about. So that's what that word means. But it really comes from the name from Paul. Genius, amazing, amazing, but wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I really. Try. Really good try. Listen, we want, I, there's something I really want to ask you about. And I, I, I know we could just talk for hours. And I'm already thinking we've got to get you back on the show again because you're great. But um, <laughs> you did something which has always fascinated me. You became a magic advisor on films, along with your many other talents and careers. And with those films I mentioned earlier, like um, uh, Burt Wonderstone. And what is that all about? How does that work? Because why do they need magic advisors? I, I thought with CGI, they could do anything nowadays. What, well, what do you you know, do? It's funny. It, it, the two films you mentioned, I've done advising on TV series and I've done it on, and we did, a, and Tony Clark and I did a, a series a couple of years ago where it was a magic series and we have a front facing magician and we had to build, I think about 60 different pieces of magic for the show. So it was full on magic, but when something like a, like a film or a TV show that is not a magic show, but has magic incorporated into it, or in the case of the two films you talked about, now you see me in the incredible Burt Wonderstone, those are magic films. They're magic films. Magic. Yeah, yeah. Really they're romantic comedies and they're, they're thrillers, you know, but, but magic is a, is a theme throughout the whole thing. So, uh, in those cases, you may have a combination of CGI with practical magic. And mm -hmm. so there's there's different element, there are different levels to this. One is um, incorporating the practical magic. Mm -hmm. Right. Two is teaching the actors how to be magicians. We right. know that yeah. being a magician, you know, it's how many people have said to you, you pick up that pencil like a magician. Yes. Right. Yeah. So we, it's yeah, in our, we have magic hands. Yeah, it's in our bones, right? Yeah. It's in our yeah. blood. We, the things we do, the the way we observe the world is like a magician. So how do we teach an actor to in, embody that uh, spirit? And then, uh, and then it's about working with the director, the camera crew, 
working with the, the, the entire crew to make sure that you're getting the shot mm. as it should be for camera, right? So you can, if you, you can do magic with, with camera poorly, or you can do it right, right? <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and so we want to make sure that, that everybody's involved. Everybody's part of the, the process. And there's no secrets because the, can the, the director and, and the, uh, the cameraman and everybody needs to know how to shoot something. So you get the right angle. You're not flashing. And magicians will know what that means. Uh, you're not exposing the magic. So it's very important that we uh, it, we're working it, with everybody. It's incredibly, right. it's incredibly right. technical, then, really, yeah. isn't it? It's a very yeah. your your knowledge has to be. Uh, oh, Pete Booth, I remember the X Files episode. Yes, absolutely, Pete, you spotted him. So you spotted him. <laughs> tell us about X Files, Jonathan. Very quickly, Jonathan, because we have more to get in on the show. But, but yeah, tell us about X Files. The X Files link, because someone. All right, knows. very quickly. Um, so I'm an actor, uh, and and uh, I moved to Los Angeles as an actor. I've been doing magic for 41 years but I've been in Los Angeles as an actor for 24 years. And my dream was to be on the X-Files, to move to LA and act on the X-Files. My first acting job was on the X-Files. Wow. And it was a guest starring role alongside Ricky Jay. And the two of us were the main guests on the, on that episode. And we, um, we, uh, so that episode was about two con artist magicians, Ricky and myself. Mm. And, so on that episode, we were doing magic. We were acting. We were throughout the whole episode. And, but when I first got on set, my very first day on set was as a consultant. Uh, they they brought me. They asked me if I would teach David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson how to do some magic tricks that they could do in the show. And so my first day on the set was as a magic consultant. As it turned out, when I think about it, it was my first job <laughs> as a magic consultant. And then... <laughs> Uh, which I, you know, I, I didn't even piece all that together until later in my career, yeah. you know, uh, and, and then uh, and then I was an actor for the rest of the, the episode. So it was it was amazing. It was amazing. That's great. That's Perfect. great. Thank you so Perfect. much for sharing. That. Well, well, I've got to ask, seeing as I've uh, bigged you up as the brilliant <laughs> magician that I know you are. And, and I should say to everyone that hasn't seen Jonathan work, he is a very original and creative magician. We never know quite what he's going to do. But if, if we asked you, if we twisted your arm, could you do something for us on the show? Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah let, me, let, me, let me think about what that is, but yeah. Okay. okay. You, you well, need we'll, a I tell you, yeah. We'll bring on the next guest. Okay. Let me think, think about, about it. Yeah. Something, yes. anything really, yeah. Jonathan, yeah. and uh, we'll come back to you. Perfect. Thank you so much, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jonathan Levitt. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! So, darling, 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 darling. Yes, uh, here we go. Uh, our next guest. When I when I first got into showbiz, one of the big things that everyone had to have was a ten by eight, and a ten by. We eight had these everywhere headshot. around the house. This was Look my at first that. headshot. I'll try and get at the. Uh, um, in fact, as you can see, I've hardly changed, ladies and gentlemen. We move continents, and the headshots come with us. Yes, every every entertainer has probably got a box of these because they cost a huge amount of money in the in the good old days and you'd end up printing a hundred of them and you oh so I've, I've got a pile that big but darling 98 you still, still need them now for social media my yeah. linkedin profile oh, everyone needs a headshot instagram now, everyone needs a headshot and so, they've got to look good mm, they've got to look good personal branding has become a big thing and our next guest knows all about that so this is going to be fun we asked him for a shot of himself as a baby and he sent us this. <laughs> Lo and behold, he's a baby. That's a very, very tiny baby, isn't it? And we said, great, Scott, send us a picture when you grew up. And he sent us this yeah. when he got married. So did anything happen in between? Or I have no, two pictures he possesses? <laughs> no idea. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Scott Lawrence. <laughs> Hello. Scott, How's it going? How are you doing, my friend? Good, good. How are you? Welcome to the show. Where, welcome to the where show. are you, Scott? Are you in L.A.? Uh, no, I am not in LA. I am in Troy, uh, right in my uh, studio today. Yay, Troy, go Troy. Just just around the corner from where we are, probably. Wonderful. Um, if, you, if you're in yep. Troy. Yep. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if to play the game first, or can I just ask him his favorite place to go and take pictures yes, around you here? Can, yes. Scott, come on, tell us where do you like to go and take pictures? Or are they all studios? Do you do, do uh, any <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's it's funny because I, you know, being a studio photographer, Usually my favorite place is to be in my studio because, uh, you know, the weather in Michigan is kind of so-so. And um, that point? I like to yeah. be able to make the light, you know, any time of day and, you know, rain or shine. So 
I'd have to say my studio. <laughs> okay, yeah. so that's it. That's, that's the best a, place. There's a man who never goes out, never goes anywhere. He just stays takes pictures at home. Of people, which is fantastic. <laughs> so, have, have you always been a photographer? Has that been your life? Or um, no, I well, I've always been a, a hobbyist photographer. Um, I, I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, so not too far from Detroit, but um, the roads are better no, no. in Cleveland. Yeah. What? <laughs> so we won't hold that against you. <laughs> yeah, you know I get that a lot, but I I don't know. I think you guys gotta you guys gotta check out Cleveland. I that's got Have some things figured out. Over there. No, we've been there. We've been there. We've been to Cleveland. It, we did it, some shows in Cleveland. It was closed, I think. <laughs> it was a Tuesday afternoon. All right, listen, we've got a lot to get through on this show, and because I know you've got some top tips for us coming up. But the first mm -hmm. question I have for you is uh, to say something in British. Uh, you saw Jonathan's attempt, but do you have any idea what the word doolally might mean? Uh, so I have not heard of that word before. <laughs> I have just typed it into my notes, just kind of to noodle it, and it's of course not even being picked up by. So autocorrected, I don't even know what to do with it. So um, I have no idea. I'm I'm just gonna to guess that it has something to do that my it's probably sounds like something my son did that he probably shouldn't have during quarantine. Oh, so, uh, dude, Lally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah it's funny yeah, there, there is a uh, there is a sense in which they're both in the right area. Um, they're not great. They're though. both close, but uh, no banana. <laughs> no, 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 no cigar. I can't I didn't, remember. I can't remember. Remember. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it up. So uh, we uh, checked out your website, which is uh, running along brilliant. the bottom there, and we saw Thanks. on there some fantastic uh, videos. Which, if anyone uh, needs a headshot, please go and check out this man's videos with so much great advice on there. Uh, but I wonder if you could share a few maybe top tips that, about why we need a headshot, what we should do with it, how we should get it done, that kind of thing. What we do with our hair? Yeah, makeup, <laughs> um, yeah. glasses. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, the, I, so headshots are everywhere now, as you, as you guys mentioned that, you know, they used to be really just for actors and executives and now they're everywhere. Um, you know, we're on Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, all over the place. Um, so I always like, as I had mentioned, I like to start with a, a studio headshot. Um, I think that people get hung up on more of the backgrounds and, you know, the context and the location and everything. And it really comes down to the fact that a headshot is, it's about you. It's not about the background. It's not where you are. It's just you and the camera. And so I think uh, that you don't want to underestimate the, the, the simplicity of a good studio headshot first. Um, where'd you guys go? You guys, uh, I was looking we at the room. <laughs> Oh, it's all a bit detailed, yeah. isn't it? Sometimes you feel you feel you're all I'm, alone in a room. <laughs> all alone, yeah. I've been all alone in my studio for the the whole <laughs> afternoon. Um, so, so the, you know, the, um, the when when you get someone in to take their headshots, obviously it's you know it, for for people who don't get pictures taken often, it's obviously quite a stressful experience. Uh, how do you help them sort of relax to bring the best out of them? It is, you know, and it's a so it's definitely a process, and um, my. I have a couple of different session types and, you know, some are pretty quick and some are a little bit longer and people are always amazed that, that they are so that they, or that they can be so long, you know, it's not a school picture. And the reason for that is it takes people time to warm up and usually um, or often the best images are right at the end as you finally mm -hmm. warm up and you finally relax. Um, so that's kind of part of the, the secret is that it takes some time in front of the camera and then a good photographer is going to get you to, calm down to a to a degree to where you can get kind of an authentic and natural expression i get a lot of people that will try to try to force an expression so maybe they don't like smiling with their teeth or maybe they only like a, a big toothy grin or something like that um and i try to get a full range of expressions and that's mm -hmm. that's another trick too so sometimes i'll i'll ask people to make silly faces and just goof around a little bit and People think, oh, you know, I, I don't want the silly faces. I don't need any of that. But the the secret is that, you know, the, the reality is that it's that transition from kind of surprise and just like your full range of facial expressions. Those kind of transition expressions are usually the most, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, those yeah. are the, yeah. usually the worst. It's, you know, right after a laugh or before a laugh or so. And I'm no comedian, but I've got a few little jokes that I'll tell and it kind of gets people moving around and, 
Mm. You do. You need to get them to relax, don't you? And then just to smile. Yeah. Smile. Well, as you say, it's that moment of spontaneity. If you can capture a spontaneous moment, that's yeah. when I think you get the special picture. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. The, that's the, and that takes um, um, bigging you up for a moment, Scott. That it actually takes an expert to capture that moment. You can't do that on a selfie. You can't yeah. capture a spontaneous moment on a selfie. It just doesn't work. No, and I will, I mean, photographers are famous for trying to do, you know, what I call professional selfies of ourselves when we're, you know, even for like, you know, my YouTube thumbnails and you can't, it's, it's really hard to get that same expression. So I even find, even if I have my daughter help me, um, just to have somebody to interact with makes yeah. such a big difference. A big difference. See, one of my favorite things is watching someone take a selfie because quite often they, they're holding their camera up like this and yep. they're going like this, they're going. Yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> they're sort of practicing to try and get that. That really could be natural. every millennial you've ever talked to. Um, so it, yes, it's obviously come and talk to you, but also follow you, as we said, Scott's uh, um, YouTube channel. Look at look at the mm. videos. There's so much information there on cropping, on lighting, yeah. on smiling. Yes, yeah, um, it's a big yeah, deal. Yeah, because one, uh, can I throw in one tip though, in terms of yeah, like a yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the the one thing that people. Um, if you haven't, if you don't have a lot of camera presence or experience in front of a camera, um, you know, we'll often kind of run in uh, to the frame and you, you know, you'll be like what your grandma told you to sit up straight, put your chin back and you know, go like this. And then the fact is that all you get is chin and neck in that pose. So mm -hmm. um, most, you know, it's usually not the, the, the parts that we want to favor the most. So the trick is to um, really lean forward quite a bit. So I tell people it's, you get a bit of an abs workout actually. Uh, so you kind of lean forward and then it's push your forehead out, let your chin come down a little bit. And that emphasizes your We're trying. Uh, We're trying. eyes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like that. And, uh, Not too far. Take, yeah, it's a, it's a fine line, uh, but yeah. the, the yeah. biggest trick is that you want to kind of come in and down a little bit more than um, the the go-to cheese pose where you're sitting even, up straight like that. Even seeing you do that, actually, the difference between you yes. know, the, the, the picture, but sitting back yeah. like this mm -hmm. and, and sitting mm -hmm. forward, it, it's kind of huge. And, and we don't really it is. Uh, no. you know no, it is. the energy yeah. of the picture, isn't it? We, we need to work on that, darling. We, we need to work do. on that. We do. Scott, fantastic. Absolutely great advice. Tremendous. We, we need that sort of thing. We do. We need it more than most. <laughs> so, <laughs> I need to get rid of these chins. Um, <laughs> There's tricks for that. Tricks for yeah, that. We yeah. I, I, I'm seeing uh, in, uh, in another picture, I'm seeing Jonathan waving uh, like, yeah. a, like a man. Can, can we bring uh, Jonathan back in? Uh, Remember me? Yeah, I'm ready yeah, now. Okay. I'm ready. Yes. <laughs> Have you thought of anything? Yes. I came up with an idea. Oh, good, uh -oh. good, good, good. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you a big intro. I'll give you a big intro. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite magicians, star of the Magic Castle and many other exciting things, TV shows, films. Please welcome Jonathan Levitt. Hey, thank you so much. You know what? I want to say, can I just say real quick, I'm so happy to see you all. Scott, great information, great advice. Thank you for that. And mm -hmm. Keith and Sarah, so great to see you. You know, we, we met almost 10 years ago in Detroit, and mm -hmm. uh, it's been great ever since. It's nice to see you. So thanks for having me on the show. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for being here. So we did magic back then. And uh, I don't know, I'm trying to, I was trying to think of what I could do in this setting because yeah. it's very, you know, we're, we're making this connection and I think we're more connected now than we've ever been really. I mean, look at this. We're all, in, we never would have done this six months ago. Right. No. So it's fantastic. So I'd like to see if we can make a connection with, uh, with us, with somebody that we don't even know, we see how all this comes together in this world. Okay. So, okay. We're going to do this. Now, normally we would do a card trick, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, just because we love doing card tricks. Uh, and I'd have you choose a card, but to make this easier, I'm going to have you make up a card. Okay. So, Scott, we'll start with you. And this will be a random card. Whatever you choose, we will use. Okay. So, Scott, right. should we use a black card or a red card? Up to you. We'll choose it. We'll use it. Uh, I'm a photographer, so I'll go with black. Black, very, very nice. Yeah. Uh, good. Some crushed black. Uh, so yeah. we will go with uh, with black. A black card is either spade or clubs. Um, uh, Sarah, should it be a whatever you choose? We will use club or spade. A club. Club. All right, and then uh, we need a value for the card as well. So if it's a club, it's an ace or king. Whatever you choose, we will use Keith. 
The nine of clubs. Okay, the nine of clubs. Now, look, we're going to do this. We're going to call someone. Let me explain. Well, anyone? The nine, hold I on. make sure I'm not sitting on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> look, we'll do this. Um, I have a deck of cards here, okay? Yeah. And you said that, what did you say, the nine of clubs? Nine of clubs. I'm going to take that card out just so that we can see it later and we can, but I'm going to put it right here in full view. It's not going to go anywhere. It's yeah. just for our reference so that we know we can reference back to that. So we don't forget the card. Okay. okay. That's all it is. Uh, okay. It's just for reference. So the nine of clubs. Now, normally in a card trick, as you know, I would find the card. Well, guess what? I know where it is. <laughs> I would tell you what the card is. I know what it is. So, <laughs> not interesting. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to call someone. Let me lower the brightness on this. I think it'll help. What? Who? I don't know. So here, let me <laughs> my phone. Here's I want to see if we can really connect with somebody. So Ooh. I want to call somebody that we don't know and see if they can join the party and they can be and they can take part in this trick. Okay. okay. So we're we're gonna call someone that we don't know. So uh, yeah. uh, Scott, would you give me a uh, an area code? Where should we call? Um, uh, we'll call somebody in Cleveland. So 216. 216. That's Cleveland? Mm hmm Okay. 216. And, uh, Sarah, give me, we're going to call somebody we do not know in Cleveland. So Sarah, give me three digits. Uh, 246. 246. Uh, Keith, give me two digits. Uh, 1070. No, no, two that's digits. Fine. That's fine. We'll do it. Um, so that's a number we don't know. And that's somebody we don't know. So we're going to call them. What if they're not there? Well, if then they're not there. The more the more important question is what if they are there? So <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally intrigued. I've got no idea where we're going. <laughs> so we're we're gonna call them and we'll if they answer, we're gonna talk to them. Look, this is all about connecting people in the world in a way we've never done before. Why did we ask him on the show? <laughs> right. Look, this is fun. This is what this is all about. And look, what are they gonna do? Come after us? All right, here we go. Look, uh, I'm gonna call. And we'll talk to them. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. <laughs> you put that energy out there. You put that energy out there. All right, look. All right. I don't want to end with this. Can I do it one more? Can we try one more? If it doesn't work, I'm moving on. But you asked me to do a trick I wasn't expecting to. So can we do one more? One more? Okay. All right. Very quickly, Scott, an area code. Very quickly. 904. Where is that? That's uh, Jacksonville, Florida. North uh, Florida. Good. Okay, it's not too late there. All right, Florida. Uh, Keith, three digits? Uh, three, seven, two. And finish me out with four digits, Sarah. One, one, four, four. Great. So we don't know that person. We're going to call them. And uh, and if they answer, we will we'll talk to them. All right. If it doesn't work, I'll do something else. I don't know. Come up with something. Hello? 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 Hi there. Hello? Hi. Hi there. Uh, don't 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 hang up. This is not a prank call, and I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, I'm going to explain what's going on. I, I and please trust me. My name is Jonathan. I am a magician. Don't hang up. And we're doing a magic trick. We called you at random. Can you help us for a minute? <laughs> what? Uh, who is this again? What, my my name is John. Uh, I know this is strange. Let me explain. I'm Jonathan. What's your name? Tell me your name. My name's Scott. Scott. I think I know a Jonathan. Uh, you, well, I that would make sense, but I mean, I guess it's a very common name. But but uh, I am a magician in Los Angeles, California. I know you're on the other coast, out, out there in Florida. Well, guess what? We're doing a show right now online with people in Michigan, and so we're all connected all over the, this country, and we're calling you to take part in a random card trick, a magic trick show like a like a radio show? like a what a video show look um it's a video show so you can actually it's being streamed to different um like youtube and uh facebook and it's being streamed to all these different places it's a weekly show actually twice a week who gave you my number we made it up so we all came up with different uh different uh numbers we came up with a phone number seven digits we call that number you answered lucky you and uh here we are so we <laughs> It's totally say hi to him. Say hi, hi. to him. Hey. Hello. Hello. This is absolutely for real. Yeah, I can hear that. Is he FaceTiming? He's trying to FaceTime. Oh. Yeah. 
Let's do it. Hold on, wait. Oh my God, look at that. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Scott. How are you? Hi. My name is Jonathan. And Scott, actually, this is Scott. Say hi to Scott. Uh, hi. Hello. How's it going? It's like a TV show. It's like a TV. It is actually a TV show. It is exactly what it is called the Magic Soiree. And um, hey, can you put that up again, Sarah? Yeah. Yeah. Right, here, do you see that? Can you read that? Oh. Oh, wow. So I can look that up online? Yep. That's where to see the show. Okay. And I'm on like right now. You're on right now. Right now. Yes. <laughs> All right. I, okay. So this is fantastic. So Scott, let me explain what the trick is. Okay. Um, we're seeing if we can make a connection across the country from the internet and the camera and then to me and then to you on this phone call. And you're actually FaceTiming, which is amazing. So here we are. Okay. okay. Now, Sarah. Keith and Scott made up a playing card in the deck of cards. Do you know, do you play poker or do you know the cards or anything? Uh, yeah, I, I, I just like regular cards. I know cards. Okay, cool. So I want, just do this. Think of a card. Don't say what it is. Just think of any card in the deck of cards. Okay. You got it? Uh, just like a random, just whatever card? Any, you can think of any card you want. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Now look, we we created a card. Okay. So I want you. We a card. Well, we made it up. We just made it up. Oh, oh, you guys thought of a card too. We thought of a card too, and then we called you, and now you're thinking of a card, and I want you to tell all of us out loud the card you are thinking of. Just the one that I, the one just my regular whatever. Uh huh. Okay, uh, the nine of clubs. <laughs> yes, that's amazing. Yes, oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yes, you nailed it, my friend. You are this. Give him a round of applause, would you please? <laughs> Hey, come on, the iPhone. Uh, can you come on our show as a guest? <laughs> they want you on the show as a guest. <laughs> Scott, email them. Go to themagicsoiree.com and go on the show as a guest. Um, I want to th th thank you for picking up the phone. You made our day. <laughs> Say goodbye to Scott. Bye, Bye Scott. Scott. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my giddy arm. That was... That was crazy. Crazy. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm blown wow. away by that. <laughs> oh, okay. my God. Cedric I, says no way. I I, I, no. I, I I was I was looking forward to you doing that that trick you do with the coins where you <laughs> ring the coins. They go ding. Oh. I was that was they were marvelous. I knew it. Oh, I, I, oh, oh. Jonathan, that was wonderful. I, Thank and, you. And, and you've you've overrun our time, but that doesn't matter because it was absolutely bloody brilliant. Bloody as brilliant. long as long as I didn't pull a Dulali. Uh, no, you didn't pull a Dulali. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. The meaning is the meaning of Dulali. Um, I can't remember what we typed in. Actually, <laughs> what do we bring it? Uh, bring it up, Felicity. Bring it up, Felicity. So can, our producer. There you yeah, go. Temporarily deranged. <laughs> So in a way, you were both a bit close, actually. Right. You were right. both a bit close. So. You did well, boys. That's you did funny. really well. And the other thing is we always finish on a positive note. Come on, then. Scott, think of some positive note to finish with as we uh, as we finish this session today. I would say, boy, that, that's tough to follow. I would say, um, <laughs> go, <laughs> going back to photography, I would say life is... I mean, especially in the year of 2020, life is too short um, to um, not exist in photos. We walk around with um, thousands of snapshots of random things in our phones, but there's so many of us that are afraid to get in the the frame themselves, the frame itself, mm -hmm. um, for whatever reason. You you know you have a self you're self conscious about um, your hair, your skin, or you know a blemish or something like that, um, or your weight. And uh, the fact is that. Nobody else is going to notice those things about you because they're actually worried about their own uh, insecurities as well. So it all comes down to just uh, put your um, put your insecurities aside, get in the frame and exist in pictures today because you never know.
You never know. You're absolutely, yeah, absolutely right. right. Absolutely. 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 Jonathan, Exist in the real world. Jonathan, a positive thought to help us end the show and start the day. I'm a bit blown you, My motto uh, is more relevant today than I think it's ever been. Uh, and that is never it's stop. Your motto. So, sorry, never. I talked over that. I was I was trying to do a joke and I spoke over you. Your motto is, don't forget it. Let's just, let's just retake that bit. Never stop creating. Nice. I yeah. like that. Yeah. And, and uh, in my life, I've tried to juggle many things. And I think it's all about creating content, creating, being creative, making something, producing something. Uh, never stop creating. And I think in today's world where we are all having to re- uh, reframe, adjust, pivot. Now is the time to never stop creating. Mm. So yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. So true. Good news. Boys, well, thank you. I mean, thank I don't you. know what else we can say, babe. Well, we, we should say that next week we've got two more fabulous guests <laughs> Just, um, and a uh, superstar in the world of magic. Uh, Jeff Hobson is going to wow. be on the show. So that's going to be I great know, fun. Very exciting. And right. then all the way from over in from Belle Isle, the Belle Isle Conservancy President, Michelle uh, Hodges is coming on. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Tune in every Tuesday live at two o'clock right here from all of us. All it remains for us to say is cheerio. cheerio. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>